the President of the United States, Donald John Trump. This is an incredible and most important marker in Earth's history. As we've seen the ceremonies of transition of power from one president to the next, this one will be remembered for generations to come. A power shift that is not inclusive to America, but a power shift that affected the whole world. The inauguration of President Trump signaled the end to the power that has been in control of the human race for thousands of years. A power that has set up kingdoms with the purpose to ultimately install the new world order at this particular date and time in history. It signals the end of the new world order. And it's been anything but a smooth transfer of power. The complete and total containment of evil has begun. What we are witnessing is a complete and total shift of the control of the earth, a changing of the guard, an epic time words cannot express. The Luciferian reign is over and it's the end of the world as they've known it. Lucifer has lost all power and control of the earth and all of his mechanisms of deception and manipulation will be exposed completely. For thousands of years the serpent seed bloodlines pillaged and conquered every race and culture so as to accommodate their means to an end. An end that till now was thought to be cemented and ready to be executed. An end that would have given the Luciferian elite complete control of the earth for the next millennium. An end to the written prophetic convergence of events that would have given way to death and destruction. An end of days scenario an agenda that would have come to fruition with the election of Hillary Clinton. A scenario that now has been derailed. Trump was chosen to stop not just America's destruction, but all catastrophes tied to their prophetic timeline, which was added to the biblical canon as the book of Revelation. The church as we know it today will cease to exist because of its ties to pagan worship. All pagan practices that have been implemented into the Old and New Testaments are an abomination to our Heavenly Father. The curse of the letter has been broken. And you may wonder, what now? If none of this doom and gloom happens, when will Jesus come back? What can we expect? Trump, in his inauguration speech, said this. Together we will determine the course of America and the world for many, many years to come. Your voice, your hopes, and your dreams will define our American destiny. And your courage and goodness and love will forever guide us along the way. We stand at the birth of a new millennium, ready to unlock the mysteries of space, to free the Earth from the miseries of disease, and to harness the energies, industries, and technologies of tomorrow. 
Today's ceremony, however, has very special meaning, because today we are not merely transferring power from one administration to another or from one party to another, but we are transferring power from Washington, D.C., and giving it back to you, the people. January 20th, 2017, will be remembered as the day the people became the rulers of this nation again. And most importantly, we will be protected by God. A transition of power from the Luciferian rulers of the earth to the righteous people of the earth. President Trump, Trump with the help of our allies, including Russia, will put an end to this Luciferian New World Order globalist agenda. The righteous sons and daughters of our Heavenly Father throughout the earth have the opportunity to take their discernment back from everything that separates us. We have been deceived on all fronts. Through our history, through our science, and through our religion. And unlike what we have been told, we have free will and have total and complete control of our destiny, our future. Religion has kept us out of touch and out of commission from things that truly matter. It has disconnected us from the present and kept us living in a manipulated past. We must regain total control of creation. We must rid of all genetic manipulations. We must rid of Monsanto and every corporation tied to Monsanto. We must stop their chemtrails spraying of our skies. We must put the serpent seed bloodline under total containment. This we must do before our Heavenly Father comes. The Luciferians have kept our Heavenly Father's sons and daughters of every race and culture on earth under the curse of the letter and has divided us since the beginning of time. We have been under the Babylonian temple system. God's temple is not built by hands, but reigns in our hearts as our spirit of righteousness and discernment. We must never surrender our spirit to any book or to anyone or anything. We are to concentrate in the now so that we can take care of tomorrow. It's the only way we defeat the evil on the earth. Because we do battle against flesh and blood. Because all the evil on the earth is flesh and blood. And they can be affected and they can be stopped and they can be defeated. We are the guardians of our Father's creation and we must regain our post with extreme prejudice. Then and only then His kingdom will come and His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. All cultures and races of peoples of the earth who stand for what's right and have a moral compass to live in principle and moral values are his righteous sons and daughters. All 
who abide and preach the narrative of doom and gloom of the letter are false prophets who promote the agenda of Satan's Catholic Church fathers. The letter has kept us divided for thousands of years. Every race and culture has been under the curse of the letter that keeps us judging each other and divided. All religions have been cursed to keep us bounded in pagan practices. No book can ever be holy or infallible. Satan's counterfeit version of Christianity gave us the version of the Word of God. It is my pleasure to introduce to you our Creator, Father, the Word made flesh, Jesus. Our Heavenly Father incarnated in Jesus to come to our rescue, to deliver us from the curse of the letter, to set us free from the doctrines of men, to redeem us from religion. He truly did set us free from the curse of the letter. He totally carried us out of the Babylonian temple system and reconciled us to himself. That, my brothers and sisters, was and is the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ.